Hey, it's just gone two o'clock and I am back. So I'm hoping that I'll be joined here by a few of you who I did say I was going live again at 2 p.m. Um, and this one is not going to be quite as long as the last one. I'm just going to make one card this time again. Um, but I'll also go through a few things in the catalogue that I'd like to draw your attention to. And um, we give the first one at 11 o'clock. If you haven't watched that one, go back and watch it. Um, I went through some of my favourite things in the catalogue. And um, I talked about um, one of my must-have items, which is the gold... Uh, laser cut paper which is just beautiful and goes with so many things um, the next video I'm doing tonight will all be about in colors okay so we'll look at um, how the colors fit in with some of our existing colors and um, and I'll show you a few different ideas for using the in colors so that'll be tonight at 7 30 um, so this afternoon I'm doing one before I have to go do school pickup and um, and I wanted to touch on another of my favorite sweets. So this morning, um, let me put the phone in the holder and I'm going to draw your attention to the catalog and we'll have another, we'll have another prize draw again, another giveaway. So um, just let me get the phone organized and we'll talk about that too. Okay. Notice the light is a lot better now than it was this morning. It's just that time of day where the sun comes straight in this window at a really awkward angle. Hi there, Mary. How are you? Looking forward to a coffee soon. Hi, Tina. What time is it there, Tina, in the US? Hey, Chris. How are you going? Hi, Wendy. Woohoo! Both lives. I know, right? <laughs> I've got one more to go. I'm going to do one at 7.30 tonight as well. Hey, Barb, how are you going? So um, I've had a couple of orders come in. Um, as people nominate which stamp sets, the, I, I put up some photos this morning of some retired sets. Um, and as I put up those photos, um, you just need to nominate. So with an order of $100 or more, um, preferably through the online store, but even if it's direct, um, you can nominate which uh, retiring set you want. And I'm asking you to pick uh, your first and second preference only because if the first preference is already gone, then you can still get your second preference. So um, we're going to have another little look at quickly at the catalogue. Um, I'm hoping everyone has one. And if you do have one, I hope you have it with you because I'm going to bring your attention to a couple of things. And it's always nicer looking at the real thing than it is watching it on the screen. So... Um, I did hear from one customer this morning that she has not got her catalogue, which is very sad because I definitely sent her one, so I'm not quite sure what happened there. But if you don't have one of these and you don't think I would have sent you one already, um, then please let me know. Uh, message me and I'll organise to send you one, as long as you're in Australia, of course. Um, okay, so as I mentioned before, I've gone through and flagged all the pages that I love the most. Um, and this morning we looked at the Forever Greenery set. Where is it? Right about here somewhere. Here it is. Page 108 and 109. We looked at this one this morning and I made a card with that particular set. Do I still have the card here? Oh, I might have put it away. I might have put it down. I'll put a picture of it up on the, um, up on the Facebook group too so you can have a look at that card because it was very pretty and I used some of the gold laser cut paper um, which you can also see they've used the reverse side of it here on this one as well so so instead of using the gold card they've the gold side they've used the other side like I did this morning um, so some beautiful things in there but also this morning I did touch on a few things from the in good taste suite which is another of my favorite suites so we use this folder which is from the in good taste suite even though we're working with the forever greenery set I think the two sets the two suites work really well together so that suite is just a few pages over on page 122 here it is 122 and 123 and 124 so these three pages are where you can see the in good taste suite and that's the one I wanted to focus on this time um, the in good taste suite um, once again as always with the sweets you can individually buy any of the items um, if you are buying the bundle which is stamps and dies that is going to get you a 10% saving and that bundle discount is also included if you decide to buy the whole suite so um, you would get the bundle 
which is these lovely dies I'll show them to you in just a second and the stamps which are across here these ones okay and you can see some of the dies are actually highlighted in the stamp set as well um, also the designer series paper which I'm going to show you in a second which is another of my must-have items so the laser cut paper I think is a must cut item but I think also the in good taste designer series paper this is stunning paper and I'll show you in just one second the tasteful textile embossing folder the one we used this morning right here if you missed this morning's video that's okay you can go back and watch it um, it's going to be down a little bit further in the feed um, than, than where, you're, where, you, where you are right now so when this one's over if you haven't seen the earlier one go back and watch it and you might find that uh, you'll really enjoy that too and then the in good taste elements okay now these are wooden elements I, I have a thing for wooden elements I always love them um, you can see there's some little branches and some leaves and obviously I've already used some of mine but there are plenty of them look at them all there's a whole bunch of different sheets of them so um, one side is kind of lighter and one side is darker and you can use whichever side floats your boat whenever when you're actually using them and there's also these great little uh, dots and accents as well that you can also add to a card I love wooden accents so I just think there's something really I don't know whimsical about them I just think they're lovely so um, these items are all in the suite and like I said you can purchase them individually or you can put in one code and get the whole lot okay so if you love the whole suite it's probably worth doing you don't have to sit there and individually put in your different articles you can just do it with one code so um, so that's cool something else I didn't mention this morning is we have a new look online store um, today and if you love um, the um, if you love that then I would um, definitely be um, sorry I've got distracted someone is bringing a stamp it up delivery to my door I can see them from here that's a bit exciting isn't it <laughs> I wonder what's in that box hopefully some more new stuff but you never know so here is sorry I got distracted then here is my tasteful touches stamp set and it's got this really lovely rose that you might have seen me using quite a bit lately so let's go back through some of the cards that I've used this with um, I did this one on a Facebook um, video just uh, last week or the week before I think it was last week and um, and I showed you how to make this one I've used it here with the can you see the embossing folder I just make sure that you can actually see that it's a really nice folder this one's from the world of good bundle so uh, and it's called old 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 word wallpaper better check better check um it's at the front like i said the world of good and it's called old world paper 3d embossing folder and it i think it looks really nice on a light color like white or a vanilla i think that's really nice and i've used a stitch so sweetly rectangle here with the scallops and the stitched edges and then i've cut out by hand my um, flower here there isn't a die to cut that out um, which I think is maybe a little of a little bit of a shame but that's okay it's not hard to cut um, it's quite a simple one to cut fussy cut with your scissors which I have my trusty scissors right here um, it's got some great readings and um, some other useful little elements in it so anyway that card I made the other day this is similar to the card I'm going to make today um, and this one is um, with one of the dies again let's pull out the dies if they are so this is them okay um, and you can this is the big the big one here is the one I've used and it makes this really nice edge and it fits really well of course with some of the stamps in the set as you'd expect it to I'm not going to use that one today but I think it does look really nice with that lot nice big greeting you can see I used a couple of the wooden elements and then the background is our paper I love this paper so let me grab it out for you all right so you can see I've been chopping and and uh, cutting mine up and if my theory sometimes people say to me oh the paper's too pretty I you know I can't chop it up <laughs> um, if you really feel that way about it buy two packs maybe not this one because this is a double pack um, so this one is not your normal 20 or 25 dollar pack this is a 37 dollar pack I do believe it's a must-have item because you've got so many beautiful textures and there are so many things you can do I love these wooden pieces so this is like in that card I just showed you 
this piece is here you can see I've used it on the background and it's a real realistic looking wood grain it's just beautiful photographic quality so totally different wood grain here some of these look like they could be um, bench tops <laughs> in a kitchen or something then we've got like fabric and knitted um, ones but as I go through you'll see all different kinds of textures uh, stone paint more wood grains there's lots of different wood grains um, a hessian kind of burlap look americans say burlap we say hessian but you know we know what we mean we all mean the same thing very similar to that um, more stone aren't these nice and they go really really nice with like early espresso and gray granite the colors are listed in the catalog that these go with this is rococo rose this pink and that real painted look is beautiful um, Misty Moonlight, one of the new in colours on that one, like a tile, isn't it? And then these are like, they to me it looks like a splashback. It could be a splashback in a kitchen. And this is like a stone, more wood grains, more fabric. Aren't they nice? Love, 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 love. I just think they're so nice. Tiles, paint, and really they go on and on because it's a big pack of paper okay really fantastic you can see these are really pretty I like this one these tiles are nice there's even one in here that reminds me I might have gone past it oh yes it's this one this actually is very similar to the tiles in my new kitchen so that's a bit exciting it makes me think of that and it has actually given me an inspiration for a card that is going to be coming your way very soon more tiles more wood grain and believe it or not that's the end so I just think these are absolutely fantastic and if you are looking for a really great pack of paper that's going to last for a long time and um, and give you lots of different ideas and effects then this is a great paper so it's called in good taste and it is a double pack uh, available for 37 37 so um, let's go back quickly to our catalogue before I start this card. So I'm looking for page 122. They actually show you all the different grains and, um, and textures of the paper down here on the bottom of page 123. There's some great samples. Um, and I like what they did here where they've got the two flowers. See that? They've actually got two. That's really nice. And then all the stamps are here on page 124. So let's get playing with it. Um, I've already got the pieces cut up and ready to go and I'm thinking this time I might get you this is our little comp little competition coming um, comment in the comments below and at the end of the video when we're finished I will actually go through um, and give it I'll give, allocate everybody who's entered a number and then I'll do a random pick okay so um, this time I'd like you to tell me your favorite your favorite punch in the catalog this time that's a new one okay a favorite new punch there's not lots and lots of them but there's a few um, some of them are some of them are part of bundles um, and don't forget to right now we've got that fantastic deal where if you join as a demonstrator you'll get $169 you'll get $235 worth of products of your choice and you get to pick any free bundle okay so that's a stamps and punches or stamps and dies fantastic deal really really good all right i've already got my paper here i've got my piece of whisper white folded over and i've got a piece of espresso early espresso cardstock and i've got my piece of our in good taste dsp i could use either side but i'm going to go with the wood grain side because i really love how realistic this wood grain looks it looks like you could get a splinter on it actually but don't do that so i'm going to pop this on with snail and as i mentioned this morning snail is being discontinued or has been discontinued from our catalog um, but uh, we have a new product coming called stamp and seal which due to the whole covid 19 thingy is not available yet but it won't be long we'll have that available for you really really soon it just hasn't arrived yet there's a few things that have been held up so um, that's just the way it goes sometimes all right so um, I've just 
pop that I mean it just looks nice even like that I know that's not enough I know we have to do more things to it but I just I just think that looks fantastic all right I've gone ahead and I've cut out one of these guys and I've got my just out of white and I'm going to be positioning it here and I've got to decide what do I want to say on my card so I've got some this there's a couple that fit quite nicely with this I do want to put a flower over on the, on the card so I'm deciding so my flower I'll get that out now because I know I definitely want that and I could have if I guess the question I'm thinking as I go do I want the flower to be on top so for example here it's over the top okay in which case then having a word uh, a, a greeting off to the left would make sense okay or do I want my flower coming out from underneath because that might be really pretty that might be something to do for this card so I'm actually thinking that maybe I will so this one says you are so special that'd be good if the flowers on top and I don't have as much space but I do have plenty of space so I'm actually going to use this one and I'm going to pop it on a block here and I'm going to use my early espresso ink seeing as I've got early espresso under here it's a nice dark color for a sentiment And this one says, I'm going to line it up straight on my grid paper, which just helps me to stamp straight. Excuse me while I bring my head in, because I like to get my head right over the top of what I'm stamping, so I know that I've got my greeting on straight. Okay, so I've got my good things in life are better with you, which is very, very pretty. And it's going to end up here on the front. So I'm actually thinking... That I'm going to do my um, my um, flowers underneath, but I'm not going to stick this down just yet because I want to make I want to make sure, and I'm going to stamp it also in early espresso ink. And the second one, just like that. All right. Now I've got a couple of colours here which will look really nice. These are brand new blends. I haven't even used them before. They're, this is Blackberry Bliss, which is one of my favourite colours actually. It's a colour that I use a lot, but I've never had them in blends before. So here we go. I'm using my... Close this up. Here's my Stampin' Blends for this. Now don't forget to comment with your favourite new punch from the catalogue. Okay, because I'll be drawing a prize at the end for that. So it's quite dark. And I'm just going to sort of use that over the shading. And then I'm going to come in with my lighter one and do my blending. This almost looks like Highland Heather, the, um, the pen colour. I mean, not when you... Not when you um, paint it on, but the colour on the outside of the of the package looks Highland Heatherish, but it's not. And I do like Blackberry Bliss with neutral colours. I think it looks really good with colours like Grey Granite. Um, we have I've just ordered it a lovely new Grey Granite ribbon coming with the the peony set which I just think is beautiful have you guys seen the peony set I know some of you had noticed it someone nominated that as their favorite bundle this morning so I'm being quite rough with this there's no need to be particularly precise the flower itself has quite a bit of shading on it so you don't need to worry too much about being precise with your blending And leave the middle, which is something I do quite often. I'm wondering, I'm actually thinking maybe the other one, just for fun. I could do them both the same, but just for fun, I'm going to do the other one in the Rococo Rose. 
Once again, I'm avoiding the middle because I'm actually going to use the Wink of Stella in the middle. And when I do that, um, it blends in with the espresso ink and you get like sparkly brown, which is kind of pretty. Just following my my shading on the flower. So how's everyone's day going? How are we all? And how is everyone going? Are you, people getting back to work, starting to see friends and family again? It's been a crazy old time, hasn't it? I'm not fully back to classes yet. I um, have, I'm able to run, there's a cafe up in the Hunter Valley that I do classes at and I'm able to run classes again there but with limited numbers from middle of this month. So I'm going to see some of you um, then, which will be great. I'm bringing my wink of Stella. And you'll see what I mean. I'm just making sure there's no colour on it. When I go over this brown, it kind of fills it in, the brown, but it also goes sparkly. Hard to see in the video, I know, but I can see the sparkle on that, so that's cool. I'm going to do this one as well. So you kind of end up with a sparkly centre. going to bring you my scissors and you'd be thinking do we really have to sit there and watch me completely cut all this out no because I'm not going to cut out the whole thing I'm deciding whether I just would prefer them both to be one color or whether I do like them different colors so I'm actually it's kind of an experiment to see which one I prefer <laughs> So some other things that are new, we have a new online store. It looks different when you go in there, but don't worry, it's quite um, simple to operate. If you have any problems, if anyone has any issues at all uh, using the online store, please um, let me know. And um, if there's any glitches or problems, given that it's new, um, I will get them fixed up for you immediately. But you shouldn't have any issues, I believe. And any orders through the online store, don't forget to use the host code if your order is under $250 because that's how I'm able to get some host benefits on that and how I afford um, the, uh, the gifts and things that I'm able to offer you guys and send out. So it helps me pay for those, those sorts of things by using the hostess benefits in that way. I'm not going to put the whole thing, I'm not going to cut all the way around here because that's going to be hidden. Maybe just a little bit more around here. And there's one. So, um, what else can I tell you? We have anyone who puts in an order or a couple of orders that together are $400 or more this um, month in June will qualify for an extra $40 worth of host benefits on top of the regular benefits. So if you had $60 to spend, suddenly you have $100. So that's kind of cool. And don't forget your host dollars can be used towards your starter kit as well. So if you're thinking about joining as a demonstrator, that's another option for you. Um, for those of you who have thought about being a demonstrator or have been on the fence about it, now's a great time because they're also offering a free bundle. Now just bear in mind that's not a free suite, it's a free bundle. So stamps and dies or stamps and punches. Um, and we've got a couple of bundles that are over $100, like the peony one is, the uh, blossoms in bloom is, and so that makes it a very good deal. Right, I'm just deciding. I want this to go. Do we like the two colours or do you think one colour would look better? Alright, I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to put a couple of dimensionals Opened behind 
here. Now, when I'm going to throw things in underneath the card, I make sure I keep the dimensionals well away from the edges because that gives me plenty of room to work with. So I'm going to put this on here. It's such a shame to cover up this paper. <laughs> it's too pretty. And I'm going to go close to that. And I'm going to put a little bit of snail on behind that. Mm, even that far away, I still want to go in closer. Scissors everywhere. <laughs> now, I, before I started, I did cut out a couple of other things to see how they would look. Um, we have, of course, got our pieces here, so we can we can start to do some fun things with the wooden elements. aren't these pretty I just love them I think they're so nice but I also cut from the forever greenery dies I also cut some vellum now obviously these are too big but I just want to get an idea of how they look they are really pretty so I'm going to cut them down and I'm thinking a vellum, a little bit of vellum here. I just, I love vellum. Really love it. I just think it's such a fantastic medium and it just adds softness without, um, without being overpowering. And I really love that about vellum. So you can chop these up and have the bits appearing. Pretty, aren't they? So the question of course is how do we attach the wood grain elements and the answer is glue dots. So I'm just going to pop these here. And they're going to stay there fine. I might just pop a little bit of adhesive behind that to keep it down. And another one of these little leaves. I like don't like it to have the same leaf on either side because it's too symmetrical. I like it to look a little different. So there's a big leaf and a small leaf. How's it coming? What do you think? Is this is this pretty? And do we like the two colours? Or do you think one colour would be better? Always love to hear what you guys think. And I'm thinking, remember this morning we had the gold twine from the Forever Greenery ribbon set? I think these are nice. So a bit of gold on this will just be very pretty and not overpowering. Um, the ends of this twine always seem to fray. Um, so I have just decided that's how it is and it's okay. I'm just going to work with it and have my ends kind of fraying out and looking rather pretty so you can see almost immediately it starts to fray actually I'm just going to pull that through there and it goes they kind of it goes like my hair on a windy day that's what it does so it starts out like this but in no time at all it's it's going to fray Very, very pretty. Here's one side. That might be a little long, so let's chop that back. I should be using my ribbon scissors ideally, but 
it's so fine that my paper snips are also okay. okay. Of course, the last thing we need to do, you can see it's quite fine to work with, this, um, this ribbon. <laughs> I might need to play around with that bow a little bit. It's stuck to my finger. I made a little bit of a mess but anyway that's okay you get the idea and of course I've got my Tombow here for sticking my card base and the cardstock together this is fantastic liquid glue if you don't have any grab some for your collection it is a, a really amazing adhesive and I do use it a lot it allows me to slide a cardstock piece like this into place and then kind of wriggle it into the right spot because it's still wet but it doesn't take very long to dry so you don't want to be mucking around with it for very long because it will dry quite quickly I'm going to fix up that ribbon the other thing you could do you could add a few of these little um, wooden dots if you wanted to or you could add some of these great little gilded gems they look really pretty on there as well in fact I may do that you can see I did that on this card so this is a very similar idea I used the bigger die and I actually used this um, flower stamp as the background um, this color is misty moonlight so this is the new color but our inks have only been released today so for um, the color on the misty moonlight I used night of navy and that worked quite well because tonally it works really really well with that color um, the flower is actually Night of Navy stamped on sea, uh, Seaside Spray is the name of that colour. So um, then I added some little gilded gems and some, so it's a similar idea to this. The only thing I did different on here, um, apart from using um, a couple of different elements, was I did add the vellum. And I think the vellum would have been nice with this blue too, wouldn't that be lovely? I wish I'd thought of that then. So you can kind of see my thought process as I'm creating as I go. Other things that I made with this, I made this um, this one. This is my first one. I don't like this one as much. To me, it's a little bit, it's not unified. It's bits of this and bits of that, and it doesn't quite work, but it's okay. Um, but I, I much prefer these cards. These ones are much nicer. So there you go. I do like the Blackberry Bliss. There it is. I haven't used that one before, that was brand new today. And this is the Rococo Rose, and they do look rather nice together. What do you think? Okay, I'm going to go back through all the comments, and I'm going to see who has um, put down uh, their favourite punch. Okay, I didn't ask you to put down what page it was on, but if you did, that's a, that's a bonus. Um, now tonight I'm going to be doing a video about the new ink colours and showing you some different ways to use those. Also I'd like to show you how to use the Pick a... Pick a... Oh, what is it? The Lovely Labels Pick a Punch is what it's called. Um, I'm going to be... I'm going to um, show you how to use that and some tricks for using that because I did mess that up um, <laughs> when I used it um, last week. On a video so uh, I learned my lesson and um, I've since worked out a better way to use it so okay I hope everyone's having a great day um, and I hope that um, that you enjoyed the card and that you'll have fun with these don't forget about these beautiful in good taste papers I just think they're absolutely beautiful and the in good taste suite is just a gorgeous pro uh, product bundle so let me know if you need to, any help with placing orders or anything else, please contact me and uh, I will speak to you soon. See you tonight. Bye-bye.